In the last video, I did a uniform scale, and I combined that with a rotation, and I hinted, or I talked about how it really didn't matter the order that we inputted those things, but I actually want to go a little bit further with that. Let's have two matrices. We're going to scale, and we're going to rotate. Uh, for our scaling, let's go down to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then we'll do the rotate, rotate, uh, let's go 1.01. Okay, in fact, actually, let's see if we can get one. One. One radian, that is. Okay, we <coughs> rotated our house one radian. And just keep this in the background. I'm going to open the Snippy tool that comes with Windows and just grab a screenshot of that. Now we're going to swap the order that we do these operations. So let's go back to our rotate. <coughs> bring the rotate back down. Let's do the scale. Uh, bring the scale up to a one. Put a little one there. And then let's do the scaling here. Okay, again, let's go 0 0.5 and 0.5. And then the rotate. Uh, again, we'll do uh, one radian. And if you notice, the result, if I kind of put that there over, but so on. And, ah! <laughs> Windows interpreted that movement as, a, as me shaking my window, but. Anyway, the result, if I could put this perfectly over it, the result is the same, okay? Uh, now, let's let's do a non-uniform scale, okay? Meaning I'm not going to scale both of these down to 0.5. In fact, we'll do something a little bit more dramatic just to drive it home. Let's reset the rotate, and let's see, we got to go to 1, go to 1, here we go. Okay, so I want to scale the X to really wide, so let's go out to 2 on the X, and the Y, we'll make it shorter, we'll go back to 0.5 on the Y, and then the rotate, uh, let's just go to 1 again on the rotate, 1 radian that is, and notice our shape, it's rotating quite nicely, and it makes sense, we'll, we'll put that there, okay, good, open up the snippy tool, uh, grab a quick screenshot, move that off for future reference. and Now I can rotate all day long, no problems. It's cool. Uh, <clears throat> let's reset back to where we were at. So we'll bring this to a 1. And this will be a 1. And then now we're going to do the scale uh, second. We'll do the rotate first and then the scale second. Remember our vector gets here, hit here on the right. So our scale X again, let's take this up to a 2. Okay, no surprises quite yet. And then bring the Y down to a 0.5. And then notice what happens when I grab the rotate this time. I'm going to grab rotate and you see what, what's going on? That's, it's kind of weird looking, isn't it? It doesn't. That's not the same behavior we witnessed before. Okay, in fact, actually to kind of stress what's going on, let me take this to 1.57, which is roughly 90 degrees, we're doing 1.57 radians, or pi over 2, 90 degrees, however you want to think about it. And look at that, That's that looks a lot like, uh, if I go back to this, see our short fat house? Okay, bring that up to 1.57, and now we again have a short fat house, but it's on its side. Okay, so maybe you can kind of picture what's going on here. In fact, I'm going to grab X here, and Let's scale this X up Oh, right here. I'm going to grab this, scale this X up, and let's go wider on the X. All right? Notice that it's stretching. It's literally stretching on this, uh, this X axis right here. It's still, oops, on the X axis as I grab that higher. We can go thinner, go to reverse, whatever. But, it's yeah, it's scaling on the X because that's what we're hitting it with second. We're... We're doing the rotation first, and then we do the scale on the X second. So I said, okay, well, we'll scale on the X, whatever, however it's oriented now. We're, that's how we're going to scale it. And same thing with the Y. You know, it's, it's scaling on the Y. Let's go back to what we had originally. Um, bring these back to where they should be. To ones. And ones. And then the rotation. We'll put it here. And then let's let's put the rotation back here, okay? So the second thing that we're going to hit each vector here on the right with will be a 
uh, the rotation. Okay, so the rotation will take that up to a 1.57. And then notice here our scale, all right? I'm scaling on the Y, but it's really the Y to the house because the first thing we do is scale the house and then rotate it around. All right, so I'm hoping you you're kind of gathering that that the order of operations with scaling and rotation are important. Notice here as I rotate the house, it it keeps its figure. It's not changing anything because the scaling happens first and then we rotate. So anyway, non-uniform scaling, you need to be particularly literally careful with uh, order of operations. Now, how often are you going to non-uniformly scale? Generally, I never have need to, but I think it's an interesting thing to understand. Definitely educational for sure.